Andy, I've told you. No, no, don't tell me that. I Andy. have no, told mom, don't you. Don't tell me that, please. I, you, you better listen to me. Mom, I've I'm told not listening. You. I'm not listening. That girl, that girl is not for you. It cannot happen. As such, that wedding cannot happen. Mom, mom, I, I, I'm telling you. I've told you. No. Inda is not a good fit for you. Mom, don't say that. Don't, don't, don't say that. Why would I say that? You just can't say that. It's impossible. You can't say that. You Linda are disrespecting my... me now. Mom, I'm man. I have said. Man. Allow this young man to speak. He's no longer a baby, you know. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm grown. Every single girl I've brought to you, you have rejected, mom. Every single one. I let every one of them slide. I let every one of them pass. But you see this, Linda? Linda is clean. Linda is mine. That's I have it. told you, over my dead body will this wedding take place. Mommy, it has over right. my dead body, Mommy, it, has it taken cannot happen. It has taken place. It cannot. It has taken place. It has taken I place. I am your mother. No, no, no. Quiet. Quiet. That's enough. That's it. Okay. That's it. That's it. Joel, my boy. Linda is a good girl. I like Linda. She's like family already. And if she's your choice, you carry on. I'm with you on this. Thank you, Dad. David Singh, you are taking your son's side against me? Well, darling, I take your side in everything all the time. But see, in this kind of situation, a man should be allowed to pick his choice of wife. Well, thank you, Dad. Thank, thank you. God, God bless you, Dad. God, God keep you alive for me, Dad. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You are just thanking him for nothing. Keep thanking him. As long as I live, that wedding will not take place. Mom, that wedding has already it will taken not place. Happen. It has taken place. It will it not happen. It has already happened, Mom. It has happened. There's nothing stopping it. It has you happened. Wait and see. Mom, it has happened. That's wait and it. see. It has it happened. Will Linda is not mine. Happen. She is mine. There's nothing stopping that wedding. We are together. All right. But I'm going to be quiet. 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 Jewel, sit down. Sit. Bishop, on this note, I'm going to disobey you. However, you, Joel, you are not allowed to disobey me. If you do that, you will be dishonoring me. Ah, Meg, stop being melodramatic by like using all this emotional blackmail. Exactly, exactly. Ah. Next thing, Mom will find one scripture to quote to find her way. But you see, Mom, whatever scripture you are out for this time around has fallen on deaf ears. Truthfully, Linda is mine. You are disobeying God. Because the Bible said, honor thy mother and thy father so that your days will be long. You are dishonoring me by disobeying me. Mom, the same Bible also says, do not provoke thy children to anger. Oh. Who's provoking you to anger? Well, well we know who. Who's provoking you to anger? Of course we know who. We know who is doing I this. I am your mother. Mom, I know you're my the mother. The Bible okay. told me that train up your child in the way they should go. Mom, please stop. Train up your child in the way they should go. You started again. You started, you started you again. I am training you in Mom, the way you should go. Since I gave birth to you, you never answered me back. Because of Linda, you are answering me back. Mom, don't say that. Don't put her into this equation. You are answering me back because of a woman. Enough, enough. Quiet, both of you. Joel, if you decide to go on with that wedding, I will not attend. Are you hearing me? I will not attend. In fact, that wedding will not hold. It will not hold. Mom, that wedding is already ordained in heaven. You're answering it's me. It's ordained in heaven. Are you answering but, um, me yes, back? It's already ordained in you heaven. You are answering I'm, me I'm, I'm, back. Yes. You cannot go against Quiet. me. Quiet! And take a seat. I said, sit down. <clears throat> now, we will resolve this amicably. Darling, what exactly is your problem with Linda? Bishop, thank you very much. Linda is not from our circle. She's not from our circle at all. 
Joel can marry the daughter of one of our friends. The deaconries, we have deacons, we have ministers, home and abroad. He can be a respectable woman from that circle. You understand what I'm saying? Mom, seriously, are you hearing yourself? Look, can, can you just hear yourself? Look, I, I, Dad, are you, are you listening to this? Okay, okay. Now, darling, is that the only reason? Bishop, that's not the only reason. You know that Joel is our only child. As such, he should marry someone that has roots. Proper roots. I mean, a woman that has proper, traceable roots. That's what I'm saying. Mom, you know I know you very well, okay? Stop being political. Stop being neither here nor there. Just say it. Your only reason for disliking Linda right now is because she grew up in an orphanage. No. 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 Not just that. Not just that. Mom, what really are you getting at? What are you getting at? She has no one. She has no one to call her to order if need be. Oh my God. You know, couples, they need somebody. They need a, 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 a family. Someone to call them to order when necessary. But in this case, Linda has nobody. She has nobody. <laughs> Dad, are you listening to this? Meg, darling. Now, be specific here. <laughs> It's Linda's crime, the fact that she grew up in an orphanage. Is that her crime? Exactly, that's what she's saying. That's what she's saying. Are you, are you going to stay here and accept this? Is this what you're going to accept, Dad? Really, are you going to sit there and, and accept hearing this? Joel, it has come to this, right? I'm now talking nonsense. Say it. So I'm talking nonsense. Say it in front of your father that I'm talking nonsense. It has come to this. Oh, okay, okay. Say okay, it. Okay, Meg, Meg, darling, I've heard enough. Okay, I've heard enough. Now tell me. You have known Linda from where she was a little girl. We basically brought her up. We gave her education and gave her future. She has been through all that in fire colors. And then she decided to work with us in our church. Even though she has opportunity to work anywhere in the world, she took a job in the house of the Lord with us. And she has grown through the ranks to become my personal assistant. I, I, I. Darling, how can you think ill of such a child? Son, this is your choice. You and Linda, you both have my blessing. Davidson! Davidson! <clears throat> ah! Let me tell you, as your mother, me, Meg, your mother, I will never give you and Linda my blessing. Never! Mom, don't go anywhere. I have news for you. Last week, I and Linda went to the registry. Meaning? We are already married. What? Oh, ha! my Lord. Ha! Davidson, is that all you can say? Oh, my Lord. Ha! Our only son got married without us knowing it. What do we tell our friends? What do we tell our friends? What do we tell our fellow ministers? That you have got married without us knowing it. My goodness. Ha, you have to do something, Bishop. You have to do something. What kind of thing is this? My only son. Ha. What is, what, what is the plan? Look at what this girl is doing to my boy. Joel has never, ever disrespected me before. 50 years. He has never dishonored me in this manner. 50 years. Ha! Can this be a 
age of 50 Bishop. years. 50 years of a scandal free ministry. Now, this. Bishop, I'm telling you about what this girl is doing to our son. Yes, and that... all you can think about is this your golden jubilee darling, celebration. Darling, my golden jubilee in the ministry is in less than four years. Nothing must go wrong. No, nothing exactly. must go wrong. Nothing must go wrong. Exactly, Bishop. You have a way with this girl. Get her to annul this shameful act. I will Get do, her to I do will, it. I will do something. Good. I will do something. Yes. Yes. But and you have to act fast before everybody will find out. Good. Mm. But I need you to work with me in this. Ah. I need your support in this. Yes. To do what you know how to do best. Bishop, hmm? I was born ready. Very, very ready. Good. Whatever you want, I will support you. Good. We have a wedding to plan. What? Oh, yes. We have a wedding to plan. What wedding? A wedding to plan. What wedding? Eh? What wedding are you talking about? It can never happen on my watch. Let me tell you. It can... The Bishop, it can never happen on my watch. Where are you going to? You're not saying anything. <sighs> Babe, can you can you talk to me? I've been sitting here waiting for your call. What's going on? Babe, say something, please. Honey. The plan was you break the news to your parents and then you give me a call. I'll come over to the house and we'll both get their blessing. You didn't call me. I kept waiting and now I see you here. You can't tell me there's, there's nothing wrong. It's obvious something is off. Tell me it's over. What are you talking about? What do you mean it's over? What are you saying? What, what of your, your dad? I just underestimated my mother's stubbornness. That's it. That's it. Nothing else. What what of your dad? The the bishop? Is he is he upset with me? Oh my god, the bishop is mad at me. He's he's angry. He hates me. Oh, come on. No, no, we should not have done this, babe. I told you, I told you, we should never have. We have to go back to the registry and, and, do and what? just and, and just... do what? Don't even say it. Don't let it escape your mouth. Don't say it. Don't. Look. Okay. I'm not even going to do Stop. Relax. Just yeah. breathe. Stop. Stop this fidgeting. Stop, honey, honey. Just, just, honey, relax. Okay? Stop. Stop. Stop this. Honey, honey, listen. Stop. Honey, stop this. Stop. Stop. What are we going to do? We're going to stay married. We stay married. I love you. And you. you, Linda. I... I... I love you. Don't. Now. What? But nothing. 
you're going to affirm this. You're my wife. Okay. You're Joel's wife. And you're going to say this right now. I am Mrs. Linda Etton. I am. I am. Mrs. Mrs. Linda. Linda. Etton. Etton. Say it. I'm still did now. Say it again. I am Mrs. Linda Etton. You're my wife. And nobody can stop that. Nobody. Mommy, good evening. Married woman. Isn't it rather late for you to be walking? Mommy, I was trying to finish up the weekly report and the bishop isn't in. Do, do you need anything? I know that. Sit. I came to talk to you. Sit down. It's about this your registry thing. I hope you've not gone blabbing to your friends about it. Oh, no, Ma, we're keeping it a secret. Good. Keep it at that. Mm, pending when we we do the damage control. Damage? I'm, I'm sorry, Mommy. Please, what do you mean? I'll tell you. That move that you and my son made is a terrible one. Get up. Get up. My husband and I opened the children orphanage. At the same time, we opened the church. In no time, we had children coming in into the orphanage. And we had parents adopt them. Some got lucky and had rich parents adopt them. However, we had this interesting set of children that came into the orphanage. They were children abandoned in public toilets, dump sites. And Linda, you were one of the children abandoned in the dump sites. Interestingly, all of the children that were abandoned in the toilets, dump sites, they were all adopted. However, no one, no parent wanted to adopt you. As such, we took it upon ourselves to raise you and you grew up with us. Then, you started working for us. Why are you telling me this? 
I'm not supposed to be aware of these details. I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Because you decided to blindside me with this, your, your registry thing. Registry thing? You can't even call it by its name. I mean, it's a marriage. We are married. Linda, I am a married woman. <laughs> I married a great man. And we have a wonderful son who is going to be greater than us. He's the one that's going to be in charge of all of our international churches. I will help him, ma. No. I can't help him. No, Linda, no. Because your foundation is tainted already. You were the only dumb side child that could not be adopted. As such, there's something spiritually wrong with your roots. I Mommy, mean, no, no. Please, I beg you, mommy. I will be the best wife to your son. I promise. It doesn't matter where I'm coming from. All that matters is where I'm going in Christ. Mommy, please, I will be the best Linda, wife to your son. Don't, don't be selfish. Please. Don't be selfish. We've given you everything. You've traveled all around the world. You went to the best schools. So now, do you want to pay back our kindness with evil? And <sighs> all this unholy union. Look at me. Linda, look at me and all that rubbish. Uh, <laughs> okay, yes, yes, I've packed all the luggage. This picture gotta go to, to your house, okay? Now we get this bag to your husband's house, and what, what, baby? Come on, what, what, what? Please sit. Sit. We need to talk, babe. My baby, what? What's going on? What's happening? What's popping? Huh? Come stop. on now, huh? Baby, what's the problem? Listen, we're going wait, home. Wait, wait. What? We didn't think this through. We're making a huge mistake. We're making a huge mistake. Like, we're really making a huge mistake. <laughs> Baby, stop this. Look, I know where this is coming from, okay? You, I mean, you've not gotten married. I've not gotten married before, so you're developing cold feet, so, okay? But we're good, Hey, okay? hey, hey, listen to me. I need an annulment. What? <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. An annulment. Yes. I understand where you're coming from. Okay. Is it because we didn't bless this marriage properly? Exactly. I mean, what we're doing is like putting the cart before the horse. We should have gotten your parents' blessings first. And then, we're just making a mistake here. Okay? This, me and you, this thing, us, is a huge mistake. It should have never happened. It should have never happened. Oh my 
girl. <laughs> What's funny? Forgive me. I mean, you're beginning to sound like my mother. Yeah, she's right. Your mother is right. I mean, how can you marry a girl who has no one to accept her dowry? Okay, stop there. Stop. Stop. You have to stop right now. Okay. Listen, you're my wife. You're my life. Okay? You're the one I've chosen. And if I had an opportunity to make that decision 1,001 times again, I would always choose you. Please. Stop making it harder than it already is. You're making this hard for me. What's going on? What's okay. happening? No, 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 what's happening? No, what's informing this change of mind? What is going on? I don't... I don't want to be ungrateful, especially to the bishop. Especially to the bishop? Wait, hold on. Did my father put you through this? No. Or did my father put you through this? No, why would you think that? Listen, babe, I married you. Why? Because I love you. I married you because this is the woman I want to be with for the rest of my life, okay? And there's nothing stopping that. You're my wife, you're my life, okay? We're gonna go home, we're gonna talk about this, okay? We're gonna do this You're together. not we're listening to me, it's over! It's over, Joe! Honey, and I'm telling you to stop this. Stop. You're getting delusional right now. I'll continue from where I stopped. You're my wife. You're my life. There is nothing stopping us from being married. We are married. We're already married. We've done the court, okay? We're there. We are together. We're going to raise kids. You can't marry a dumb side baby! I'm not good enough. Dumb. Dumb side to what? Sight what? Dump sight what? Dump sight what? Dump sight baby? No, this is seriously the height. This is the height. This is the height. I'm a man. I'm expected to live my life the way I want Son. to. Calm down. No, mom. That I expected this from mom. Okay, but, but not you. Not you. Well, maybe if you let this anger leave your tongue, I might be able to understand you better. Dad, you're not. Okay. You're not getting this. You see, you see, Linda, right now. Her, Use the term dumb side baby. Where did that come from? That's my question. Where did that come from? Son, you will not speak to me in that tone. So watch your tongue. I said, calm down. Okay? Ah! Andy, you are back. Have you eaten? The chef made your favorite dish today, afang soup. Let me go tell him to fix it for hey, you. Come, sweetheart, come. Come, please. Take a seat. Sit down, please. What's the matter? Well, what's the matter? Are you going to act as if you didn't hear me coming? No, are you going to act as if you didn't hear me complain to dad on the high? You didn't hear everything I was saying? Is, is, is that what you're, what you're son, trying to say now? Son. You will not address your mother in that tone. Watch your tongue. And I've told you to calm down. Um, darling, our son thought um, I've been speaking with her, uh, Linda, and used the word dumb sight baby. Why will he think so? Where did that come from? That's what she told my son. I think I should call her. So that she can finish what she started. No, you if do. our plans was to destroy this family, let, let me just... You will do no such thing. Let me have the phone. Give me the phone. A wise man does three things when he receives information. He listens, 
He reconciles. Then take action. Hmm? To cut the long story short, son, your mother and I have decided to fund the wedding. Yes. Mother agreed. Yes. Meg. Meg? Well, I was in the office the, to discuss um, last minute uh, details of the wedding with Linda. Well, Linda never mentioned anything like that. So how is it my fault? If she was so busy to forget details of her famous wedding. Mom, the bone of contention here is dump sites, baby. Dump sites, baby. Why would she be called a dump site, baby? For what reason? Why would she be called Shut a dump site? Shut up! Be quiet then. What audacity? How dare you question your mother? How dare you? <sighs> okay, enough of this, okay? Both of you, enough of this. Meg, in my room. This is the footage from a CCTV camera. How could you, darling? How could you say such horrible things about this young lady? How? When did you install this camera in the office? So that little witch knew that there were cameras in the office and, and she set me up. Well, that's beside the point. Plus, she doesn't even know there are cameras in the office. Darling, this young lady has done nothing, absolutely nothing to offend you. I've heard her pray for you. Severally, pray for you for long life and good health. She has never offended you. You need to let it go. Let it go. I admit that I went too far in calling her a dumb side baby. I was just trying to, I mean, keep her informed of her background before she decides to marry our son. Legally, she is now his wife. They have been to the registry, and that makes it legal. That marriage will be annulled. Bishop, talk to him. Talk to Joel. Tell him to annul it. Let him bring another girl. Let him bring anyone. Just bring somebody else. I will accept it. Tell him you've gone too far, OK? You need to apologize to Linda. I will do no such thing. Never. Because I was trying to protect this family and our son. This is not the will of God, darling. It is not. All things work together for our good. We need to let it be. Let this go. Let it be. So, so you are saying I'm the wicked one no, now? No, just, just, just let it be. Are you saying I'm the, I, I'm the wicked one? Well, I am just telling you, just, just let, let, let it be. I heard everything. I heard every single thing. Dad. Mom. Trust me when I say you will never set eyes on me again if Linda decides to annul this marriage. Never. Son. Joel. In. I have my ways. Sit.
I said, sit. Okay. Oh. Now, what else do you want from me? I've ended things with your son, but your heart hasn't. I hope you're not trying to run away with my son. Honestly, I have ended things with your son. Andy is missing. I've searched everywhere for him, but I can't find him. Have you called him? I want you to do that. He's not picking my calls. Ma, I don't understand though. Earlier you asked me to end things with your son. Now you're here asking me to call him. What exactly do you want from me? I'm proposing a truce. That's the only way we can get out of this mess. I want my son back. That's simple. A truce. And what would a truce entail? For status, I withdraw every information of your past that I revealed. For status, I apologize for ruining your perfect life with my... Don't be sarcastic. I've already accepted your relationship with my son. However, I will only accept you as my daughter-in-law after a proper church wedding. What if I don't accept? <laughs> your loss. For once in your life, you have someone picking you, loving you, and you choose to throw them all away because of me. I have nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing. And I? Leave me to carry the burden of unforgiveness for the rest of my life. Exactly. I accept. Good. But don't stand in my way. Don't stand between me and my son. Okay? Oh, all I want to do for the rest of my life is to love my husband. <laughs> Your husband? Uh, I can see that you are beginning to, to display your claws. Truth. Expect a call from my event planner. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, Father. You are worthy to be praised. Brother we Lawrence, I, I, come, go, come, go. I keep on telling you, you have such an 
amazing voice. Thank you, thank uh -uh. you. You're showing, you're just showing Sister, up in the office. I'll be an opening <laughs> bishop to the ministers' conference in Toronto. Hey, are you serious? Yeah. <gasps> You're lucky, yo. Hey, yes. God, we thank you. We really, really thank you. We worship you. Thank, thank you, Jesus. You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you need to consider joining the choir. Because this voice can't wait. <clears throat> God nah, bless nah, you nah, with nah, this nah. talent. My calling is in the pulpit. I'm called to preach. That's why Bishop has been mentoring me excellently. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. You're so lucky. Well, whatever you decide, I want you to know that I am so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are the bishop's handbag. Why don't you go out there and um, sing? No, no, no. I can't sing. I've been working with the bishop for a while now. I feel like if I join the choir, he really would know what to do. You won't be able to go. Sing. No. You have a beautiful voice. You need to go out there and sing. You, 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 you need to go out there and sing. 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 What is going on here? Minister Norris. This is a church office. And the lady you are speaking to is a married woman. Mommy, good afternoon. Florence, has Bishop signed the logistics for the ministers coming in for the conference from Ghana? I'm not sure, ma'am. You are not sure? Do we pay you not to be sure? Go to the accountant and get the budget signed quickly. Okay, ma'am. It's not sure. And you, madam. You should be ashamed of yourself. Parading yourself with Minister Lawrence. Don't you know who you are? Ma Bishop's daughter-in-law? Ma, we weren't doing anything. We were only fellowshipping. Keep quiet and drop what you're holding. I'm talking to you and you're talking. I'm sorry, Ma. Fellowshipping indeed. Bishop will hear about this, your fellowshipping. Yes, that your daughter-in-law slash secretary is flirting with Lawrence. Maybe they're just having a fellowship time. You know, the Lord says where two or three are gathered in his name. Now there he is. Bishop Davison Eaton. So until they are both gathered together in bed, that is when the scale will fall from your eyes, right? Man, how could you? How could you even think such a vulgar thing? In your eyes, Linda never goes wrong. She never goes wrong, right? Meg, my dear. Lawrence and Linda have always been close right from their foundation days in church. As kids, you know that. They're just friends, there's nothing more. Tell me, Bishop, why am I the last person you listen to? Why am I even your wife? Well, For God's sake. Meg, my dear, that you are my wife does not mean that I must buy into your obvious paranoia all the time. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, Daddy. Yes, Jill. Lawrence. Good afternoon, Mom Jill. Mm. So, is it? Same. Okay. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. You see that your sanctimonious son? The one that just left. Hmm? Let me tell you what he's planning to do. 
He's planning to take over from you after your retirement. Open your eyes, Bishop. <laughs> oh, Meg, darling. <laughs> okay, okay. I've heard you, okay? I will look into this and I will caution them to be more professional in the office environment. You, will you come now? I don't just understand you. Why are you behaving like this? Why is it that you don't listen to me? Not even this once. You work too hard, my dear. Huh? You work too hard. And obviously, this is your forthcoming conference is stressing you. I'll tell you what. Let's go have lunch and cool off somewhere. Come on. Bishop, I didn't come here hungry. I came to pass important information to you. And since you're not listening to me, I have better things to do. Thank you. God bless you, my dear. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. I'm telling you, there's something going on between Linda and Lawrence. Mom, seriously? Yes. Really? Yes. Mom, is this the emergency you said we should talk about that I should leave my job for us to discuss? Of course. It's an emergency. And for all those years, you and your father have ignored me. And those two have gotten bolder. Mom, you know, father told me you were going to do this. Yes, he told me, he told me, but, but my question to you is, why can't you just love Linda just for a little bit, okay? Yeah, I mean, can't just love her e e even for my own sake or your grandson's sake? Trust me, it's not about that. You see, the flesh is not born again. No? And remember, we were all once in the world. Meaning what? <laughs> see, I know a sexual tension when I see one. Those two, they are covered in it. Lawrence and Linda. Open your eyes. Sexual tension. Yes. Lawrence and Linda. <laughs> this woman. Why are you laughing? <laughs> and where are you going to? <laughs> Let me work, please, please. What's <laughs> funny? <laughs> Sexual tension. <laughs> Will you wipe that smile out of your face? <laughs> I said wipe it. That's better. Anyway, there's something else. Okay. I'm listening. I have observed that Lawrence wants to take your father's position after retirement. So you need to sit up. Sit up? How? You need to get involved. Come to the church office more often. Well, seriously, have you stopped for once to ask yourself if I want to be a pastor? Hey, blood of Jesus! What kind of question is that? Don't you know who you are? The only son of Bishop Davidson Etton. Oh, Mom, please stop this. I mean, if I'm his only son, does that mean I'm called to the pulpit? Hi, I can't believe this. What, what is he talking about? No, 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 I can't believe. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm saying what I'm saying, okay? I, I went to one of the best universities uh, in the world, okay? I enjoy being a uh, lawyer. That's it. That, that's my passion. That's it. Not being and a so pastor. what? I thought that was just to pass time. No, no, I am a lawyer. That is it. Okay, Lawrence can have the ministry if he wants. No that's way! It. it cannot happen. Hi! My God. It cannot happen. Many years of sacrifice. Decades of work. It will not go into the hands of a stranger. No, no way! Mom, it stop. cannot happen. Mom, Let me you tell you. It can never Mom, happen. It will happen, okay? I'm, I I'm said a, it will I'm not happen. A lawyer. Jesus! Mom, don't what are you to... saying? Well, I'm saying it, it can happen. never happen. It will happen. All those years, what? those years of labor, sacrifices, Mom, can never go into I the hands of a stranger. Are you I'm listening a, to me? Lawyer, okay? Are you listening to me? I'm it can never happen. In the name of Jesus, you can never succeed in this Satan. My only son, our only son, in the name of Jesus, your eyes will be open in Jesus' name. What is he talking about? Joel, come back here. Come here. 
You are the pastor in this family. You must become the victor in the name of Jesus. Ha! Where is he running to? Lauren, thank you. I mean, we've been friends for a very long time and we'll remain friends forever. But Linda, we have a history that cannot be ignored. And by God's grace, I believe in destiny. Mm. Stay strong, okay? Stay strong. Thank you. Stay strong. I will. Get I... your hands off my woman! Baby, 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 what is going on? Look, babe, what is going on? Just behave yourself. You're embarrassing me. I said behave yourself right now. Can you stop this? Move it. I said go. No, how do you mean? Just go. I'm going to go now. Can we just wait? Slow down. Take it easy. You're going to have both of us killed. No, no, you listen. Better start talking right now, okay? Start talking. That's what I'm telling you right now. Start talking. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You're taking things out of context. Oh, am I? Yes. Oh, oh really? Now, what's this thing about, about destinies, okay? Because I heard you people talking about destiny. So what's it, it about yeah, destiny? because we go back, you know, and we're children of destiny and we are a living God. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop there. Don't insult my intelligence right now. Don't you insult my intelligence, okay? Don't insult my intelligence just right now. Please, please, hold the steering wheel, please. So tell me, what is it? What is it about destiny you were talking about? He was talking about the fact that you don't protect me from your mother. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, really? And he's right. And he's right. Yes, You're even supporting his right. He's, no, he's, he's right. He's my friend oh. and he's looking out for me. He's looking out for you. Oh, Meg. You sure? Have you seen Linda anywhere? She should be at our desk. Oh, I, I, I called her separately after the intercom went on her side. She didn't pick. Maybe you should ask Lawrence. Lawrence should know. Wherever he is, she won't be far from there. Oh, that's Lawrence. There he is. Come, 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 come. Oh, Bishop has a question for you. Bishop, ask him. Ask him. Uh, Lawrence, have you seen Linda anywhere? Don't you? She actually drove out to your son not quite long. Drove out? Meg, did you hear that? They drove out. Why will Linda leave the office without telling me? Are you asking me? Lawrence has all the answers to Linda. Ask him. Hmm? Ask, answer your daddy. Thank you, sir. Really? Are we talking about the same thing or is there something Well, I'm else? talking, I'm talking about what I want to talk about, okay? I'm talking about what I want to say, no, what you, I want to you know. know. You have to tell me that because there's something else. There's something this else. Is not you. This is not you. This is not you, too. This is not friend. you. What's okay, this is not you. Me don't tell me that. Don't, 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 don't tell me anything. Okay, Leave me alone. Stop. This is not you. Better start telling me something. Hello, Joel. Park your car properly and join me in mine. I just saw you driving now with Linda. I'm parked outside the church premises. Joel, don't question me. Please, just do as you're told. I'll be waiting. Okay, Mom, I'm here. What's going on? So what happened? What happened? What happened? I don't understand. Stop acting dense. I'm your mother. Talk to me. <sighs> Mom is Linda, okay? You see, Linda actually, I, I saw... You know what? <sighs> Nothing happened. It's none of your business. None of my business? None of your business. Can't you see that all I'm trying to do is to protect this family? But you and your father have a way of seeing me as an enemy. Mom, seriously, seriously, let me tell you this, okay? Because of your constant interference, I don't even know what I heard or what, 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 what I see anymore. Interference? Yes, yes, yes. Ah. So what are you trying to do? You want to walk out on me? Mom. With all due respect, I've had a stressful day. My head is full. I need to get my thoughts together. So please let me go. I need to go. I need to go right now. Right now. Please, Joel! Please. Joel, come back here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yes, Linda. <laughs> oh, very good, very good. Uh, and please don't forget anything that we might need from the office. Huh? All right. And uh, remember that to our special soup. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know my diet very well. <laughs> I will see you there, my dear. See, like minds, they say. <laughs> Good. I'll see you then, my dear. Bye -bye. <laughs> Meg, what is it? Bishop, how come you didn't inform me about your trip? Oh, it was only just yesterday that the president of the Pentecostal body told me I would have to represent him in Rwanda tomorrow. I don't have any issues with that. But why, why, why didn't you mention it to me? Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I came in late yesterday. And as soon as I got home, I basically slept off. I'm oh, sorry. Must you travel with Linda? Well, the obvious choice will have been you. But since you are busy preparing for your forthcoming conference, I had to go with my personal assistant. You will go with somebody else, not Linda. Meg. Not Linda. You will go with someone else. Davidson, we're still talking here. Davidson, Davidson, Davidson. Oh, Meg, what is it again? I just don't like the, the, the fact that you make me sound paranoid all the time. I'm sorry, darling, but you are behaving paranoid right now. Eh? Cut this girl is slack. Tell me, what can she do to win your heart? Tell me. Well, I just don't like the fact that she's, she's the one cooking for you. I just don't like that. It doesn't sound well for me. I'm your wife. I should be in charge of yeah. your food. Yeah, but darling, you, are no, you no longer cook. The chef does all the cooking. <laughs> and tell me, what is wrong with it if I like our seafood okra? A lot. Uh, stop being a child. Huh? <laughs> Davidson. Where are you going? Davidson. My son, how are you doing? I hope you're not missing your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As much as you're missing your husband, right? I was hoping you could bring my grandson to spend some time with me in the church office. David, are you sure you can handle his wahala? Of course, I can handle him. Didn't I handle you? Please bring him over. This weekend is the only time I have to spend with him before the mother and grandfather arrives. And we'll all start fighting for his attention. Okay. All right. As long as you can handle your grandson's energy, we're fine. And tell him that grandma is going to prepare a specially made popcorn for him. Grandma's special prepared popcorn. Okay. Of course. Don't be jealous, okay? All right. No problem. You have your grandson with you tomorrow. No problemo. All right, my dear. Bye. All right, mom. Take care. Peter, thank you so very much for handling the conference hall design with so much expertise. On top of it, you also gave us a huge discount. Our ministry is grateful to you. Thank you so much. Mommy, I'm most grateful because since I started attending the church, the Lord has blessed me immensely. Thank oh, you very God much. God is good. All the time, Mommy. All the time. Ah, Pastor Loris. You didn't tell me you were married and you have a son. You look so, so much like you. Excuse me? Come, oh, David. David is my grandson and he's not his son. Please take him to the accountant to collect his check. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so Thank very, you much, very much, Peter. Much. Andy, Hello, why did you hand over my grandson to Lawrence? 
confused when you said I can hand him over to any of the ministers downstairs since I was in a hurry. He's here with me. He's fine. Then what's the problem? A few weeks ago, you were suspecting Lawrence of having an affair with your wife. I don't hold grudges, Mom. I trust my wife. Okay. Well, if you say it's okay, it's fine. You trust your wife. All right. Dr. Fitz, Fitz, Fitz. You know your father of blessed memory, the founder and the medical director of this hospital, was our personal doctor. So I would like to ask for utmost discretion and for you to consider this visit a top secret. Of course, Mama. Apart from being my bishop's wife okay. and our family's long-standing relationship, Patient's confidentiality is top priority here. Okay, very good. Very good. And the other sample, I'll get it to you today. No problem. Yes. David is indeed a charm. Oh, yes. He's rather unusual today. He's usually afraid of hospitals, but today he's rather calm. Dr. Faith, we need to act fast because I need to get him back to his father's house. No problem. So let's quickly, let's, let's, let's rush it. Hey, I can see you're back with your royal majesty, huh? Royal majesty indeed. Huh? This my grandson is so active. Yes, like his father. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. He, he doesn't realize that grandma is getting old. He got me playing with him all day. Yeah, really? I mean, you should pay him. Uh, at least for once, he got grandma exercising. Excuse me. <laughs> Let me go talk him up. He needs to rest. It's okay. So are you okay? So quiet. Jesus! You scared me! Mom, what are you doing here? What do you mean by what am I doing here? I was using the restroom. Do I have to take permission? What do they do there? Oh, my bad. Uh, let me just go and give David the bath and I'll, Mom? Uh, and I'll leave. Leave? Yes. What do you mean leave? How can you leave? No, you have to make me something. I mean, Linda Travel. Ah, there you go again. I told you, I warned you while we were young that you should learn how to cook. Yesterday, two days ago, I made 
loads of food for you. Stuffed your freezer. All you have to do is pick something and warm it. And eat it. No, no, come on, no, please. Don't, 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 don't be like that. Look, I want something fresh. Come on. I, I can't eat anything in the freezer. Go no. to your freezer. I'm not your wife. Mom, mm? stop this. Go there and pick something and heat it Mom, up. Mom, you have to make something for me. No, I'm, I'm not, not going to. You sir. are spoiled. I Doctor Fate, thank God. I was thinking I was not going to meet you. I was waiting for you. The traffic was so crazy. Huh? I understand. Let me have the sample. Okay. I have it right here. That's it. Okay. I'll take it to the lab now and okay. the findings starts in earnest. Okay. Doctor Fate, I appreciate your support and utmost discretion. No problem. Thank you so much. God bless you. You're welcome. You are truly your father's daughter. Faith. It's been five days now. You said it was only going to take two days. What's going on? How did you let that happen? I thought you were a professional like your late father. Forget it. What excuse will I give to enter my son's room to collect another sample? Will that work? Okay. That's fine. That's easy for me. All I have to do is just uh, collect his hair from, from his airbrush. Okay. All right. But Faith, I don't want any disappointment now. I want us to stick to that two days promise. Is that okay? Faith, no excuses, no disappointments. Ah, Faith. <laughs> oh, my I love. Stu. Stu. Oh, thank God you're back. No more frozen dinners. <laughs> no, no more struggling with the microwave, For really. Real? Yeah, I'm oh telling you. Oh, my God. Don't worry, babe. Now that I'm back, I promise I will make up for those frozen dinners. You better. Yeah, I will. Well, I thought your mother would have taken care of your feeding. Well, she tried, she tried. Oh, my baby is back. Yes, I'm back. You're back. Oh, God, back. <laughs> wow, I can see we are all having fun. Okay, good. Thank you, my husband. All right, Lingo, you're looking so good. First, you enjoyed your trip with the bishop. <laughs> yes, mommy. Wow, darling, man. It wasn't an enjoyment trip. It was meetings over meetings, of, daily meetings upon meetings, as we are opening now another branch of our church in Rwanda. It's an uphill task, you know. But mm. the Lord will see us through. Amen. 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 As he sees Amen. you through all of your personal and private endeavors, in the name of Jesus, amen. 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 You see, my husband has been away on a long journey. And he needs to replenish. With good food. He needs to eat for the task ahead. So well, I don't know about this task. I don't know. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry too. And there's and enough mommy, for... I miss Nigerian food. I can't wait to eat yours. There's enough for everyone. I cooked for everybody. So this food eat. Let us pray. Okay. okay. <laughs> Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new blessings I see. All I have needed, thy hands has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Mm. Okay. You barely eat your food. Oh, forgive me, my husband. It's like I nibbled too much in the kitchen, so I just discovered I'm, I'm so full. As for me, I'm having another plate because this food is so delicious. Of course, mommy. Mommy's cooking is 
out of this world. I'm telling you, you can say that again. Darling, you outdone yourself this time. Mm -hmm. Do you all know that one of the major reasons I married my wife is due to her wonderful cooking? Mm. Oh, my darling husband. And faithfulness. 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 Great is the faithfulness. Great is the faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. And all I have needed, your hands has provided. Great is the faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> Mom. Yes. I know you very well. Hmm? What are you getting at? I hope we're not trying to hear another Lawrence episode again. <laughs> Lawrence! <laughs> Joel, don't be silly. Please, come off it. Meg, I've just returned from a long trip. I'm having a wonderful time with my family. Please, do not spoil this wonderful time with the family for me. Family? Yes. I like that word, family. Family. Oh, my husband, I've grown to realize that we are all closely related than I ever and ever and ever. Ever know. <laughs> Meg, what exactly are you getting at? I'll tell you. Now, my wonderful husband, Bishop Davidson Eaton, and my son, Mr. Joel Eaton. And you, our daughter-in-law, Madam Linda. Please and please and please, no one shall interrupt me until I am done. However, before that, I would like you to finish up your meal and meet me at the living room so that the show can begin. Great is the faithfulness. Great is the faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see. And all I have needed, thy hands has provided. Great is the faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Lady and gentlemen, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Madam Linda and gentlemen, I did something. You all might not like, but I had to do it. I had to feed my doubt and know the truth. So I went searching for the truth. Faith, please don't patronize me. You know why I'm here. Mama, the DNA result shows positive relationship between all donors. Faith, please explain to me in plain terms. Is David Joel's son or not? That's all. I'm afraid not, ma'am. I knew it. I knew it. I kept saying it. I wanted to feed my doubt. 
and I found out the truth. That girl, she's a liar. And I will expose her. I will expose her. Please remember I said all donors were related. Yes, 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 yes. So, I mean, I don't understand. The test result shows that David, David is Joel's brother. What? What are you saying? David is Joel's brother? This is crazy. It does not add up. No, 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 no. Please ex explain yourself. Explain. The first DNA sample was never tainted. I only requested for Bishop's sample so I could confirm. Faith, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. What are you saying? The biological father of David is his supposed grandfather. What? What? What are you saying? Faith! My husband, Bishop, Bishop, is Wu's father. Yes. He's Wu's father. Yes, ma'am. Wu, David's father. He can't be, no. He, ca he can't be. It cannot be. It cannot be. Bishop, Bishop. Are you insane? Mommy, mommy, why are you doing this to me? Why? Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Can't you see that he's speechless because of the affair you had with his father? Affair? What affair? Meg, now do not let me put a curse on you. Don't let me put a curse on you. What rubbish? I'm so sorry, Joel, that you have to find out like this. Let's leave them alone so that both of them can, can, can continue and start afresh or whatever they want to do with each other. Mom, why are you saying this? Why? Are you truly my mother? Joel, I did it for you. I had to prove that your father, Bishop, is the father of David. I'm going into the car now. Trust me when I say, trust me when I say I will not even spend five minutes waiting. Get David. Get David. Now. Joel, where are you going to? What's going on here? Bishop, are you going to allow her to take your son to another man's house? Be responsible for once. Take responsibility of your son. See, you are insane. Something is wrong with you up there. You are truly insane. What is wrong with you? Bishop, me insane. <laughs> bishop, insane is a bishop that gives his only son, a brother, from the son's wife. That is called insane. Stupid Something man. is really wrong with you. You don't know how to do anything. Something is going wrong with you. Even cheating, you don't have to cheat right. You have to cheat with your daughter-in-law. Silly man. Rubbish. What is this? I beg. Father Lord. On the last day, only true believers shall be raptured. On the last day, on the last day. Meg. Meg, please, can you sit and let's talk? Meg has nothing to discuss with you. Then can we at least sit and have a conversation? This, this silence is not helping matters. John 1, 15. The light shineth in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. The light has nothing to do with darkness. And I am comfortable standing here as a child of light. Meg, 
Meg, I am your husband and you must respect me. Got that? You must respect me. Respect you? Respect a bishop who not only sleeps with his, his daughter-in-law, but fathers a child through her. No, 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 no way. Meg, where you come up with this? We can, I cannot have you stand in my presence and sit perpetuate all these lies. Lies? Yes, you're lying. Bishop, did this, you... This is all lies. Did you say lies? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do something. Um, can you redo the DNA test? Feel free to choose any hospital of choice so that we can prove to the whole world that this is actually a lie. But we know better, Davidson. Davidson, you have been sleeping with your daughter-in-law and your so-called famous personal assistant. Shame on you. Oh. Davidson, shame on you. Meg. Shame on you. Meg, if you continue to perpetuate these unfounded lies, you will leave my house. Now, you will leave my house. What accusation is this? <laughs> on the last day, on the last day, only true believers shall be raptured. On the last day, on the last day, only true believers shall be raptured on the last day, on the last day. Only true believers shall be raptured. Father. in the guest room. You wouldn't even sleep on our matrimonial bed. What is going on? You go out in the morning, you come back late at night reeking of alcohol. This is not the man I married. Not the man I married. I want the man I married. The man I married would, would always come back home early. He will spend time playing with our son. He loves spending time with his wife. What is going on? Why are you doing this to me? 
excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hey, hey, hey. Just mention son. Seriously, did you just mention son? Did you? I don't want to hear that again. I don't want to ever, ever, ever hear that again. Because the woman I know, the wife I know, would only share her body with only her husband. I... And not with the father. Can I, can I just explain? I don't want to hear that song again. I don't want to hear that song again. I don't want to hear it again. But this is not the man that I know. <laughs> the husband that I know is patient and kind. He will always listen to me, but you're not listening to me. Can I just talk to you, please? Okay, please, just... please, please. currently trying to process everything, every single thing right now, okay? I'm trying to process everything, every single thing. That's what I'm trying to do, all right? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing right yeah. now. You know that, okay? So you see, listen. Look, don't make me wife bitter. Don't make me a woman bitter. Okay, what did I just say? Wife, woman bitter. Okay, don't, don't, don't make me that. Okay. You understand? Now, listen, listen, okay. listen. You see this? Mm -hmm. This thing. Mm -hmm. This thing, in the eyes of the public. Yes. We're married, but we know better, okay? This nonsense, okay? We know better, all right? This is just to cover up my mother's allegations. <laughs> yes, okay? <laughs> we want to cover up my mother's allegations. No. But you see, see this man? <laughs> huh? This particular man who doesn't know you, who doesn't know what you're made of, who doesn't recognize you, needs you right now to leave his presence. Baby, baby, please. Baby, 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 my presence. Baby, please don't. I said, bounce! Baby, please, please. Are you sick? Please, I love you so much. I said, get out! You know what you did? Get out! Get out! Get out right now! Get out! 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 Get Oh. I'm going to sit here until you listen to me. <laughs> Why would you listen to me? <laughs> Babe. Babe, Joe, please. Please, just give me a minute. Let me just explain this to you. Can I have my keys? Mommy. Where are my set of keys? Mommy, the bishop left strict instructions. He said I shouldn't give you those keys. I'm sorry, I can't give them to you. You have the audacity to show up here after all that happened? Ma, please let me just explain if you don't mind what I'm trying to say. Shut up! First, you took my son, then my husband. Now, you want to fight the ministry that God gave me. You are joking. Ma, you see, David, the bishop and I, it never... It, so David... Can you be quiet? I stop talking nonsense. You can't even make sense of the, the conversation you're having. Look, let me tell you, I swallowed up my pride all of these times to accommodate you, hoping that one day you will disappear with your lies. But now, all of you think I'm insane, right? No, no. Let me tell you, mark my words, 
you will regret it. Mommy, you're my mommy now. Mommy, please. Where I get away? Please, just give me a minute. Let me explain myself. What I'm trying to say is, it, it never Mark happened. Mark my words, you will regret it. Ma, please calm down now. Will you be quiet? Calm down. Me, calm down for you. Please, get away from me. Please, can I just talk to you, Ma, please? Hey, God. How did I get myself through this mess? I know. Hello. Faith, I'm on my way to your house now. I'm done being an understanding Christian wife. Now it's time to fight fire for fire. Yes. Oh, don't, tell, don't, don't tell me that. What are you saying? Oh. That I should calm down. Do you know they, they, they have tagged me as the one that is paranoid now? Oh, eh? Calm down. Me, a devil among the saints. I understand that you're angry. Please calm down. You don't understand. Ha. You don't understand, though. You don't know me at all. Because, ha, the Meg, you know, ha, might be the bishop's wife. But me, Mama. I will finish them all. Calm down. I will burn the church. Burn. I will burn the house. Burn my husband. Burn everybody together. Mama, you... And by the time I finish, I will not kill myself. No, Mama. Please. Yes. No, you will do no such thing. I said thing. I will do it, though. I understand but, that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That DNA test that you did, is it confirmed? No, please, just, just... Answer me! Are you one of them now? No, no. You are in support of them? No. I, I can't stick my reputation. On I what? did it several times. It's uh -huh. correct. Uh-huh. You did it several times. Just, you did it several times. Just huh. calm down. Let me tell you. All of you are the same. No, no. You are part of them now. No, please, calm no, no, down. No, 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 don't tell me that. Don't tell, don't, 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 even, don't even go there. Ha. Don't go there. Mama, please. Because I will finish all of you. Mama, please calm down. Please, I beg you, calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. Don't even, don't even say that. When you say I should calm down, it gets me so upset. Do you know that Bishop is still denying it? Bishop is still denying it. Linda won't stop crying. And the worst of it all is that my own son, my own son, is seeing me as the devil here. I'm starting to doubt that result. Oh no, Mama. If it's for the results, I can assure you that. I did it several times. It's correct. Oh, that is my problem with all these men of God. They will sin and deny it and even curse you for accusing them. Even when you catch them doing it, they will deny it conveniently. <laughs> oh. Do you know that he has insisted that I move out of the house? What? I have been locked out of the church office. Me, Meg, locked out. No, no, no. The no. conference I've been planning for, worked out for. Don't let I don't know him what is happening. You. Don't let him intimidate you. You have social media. You have talk show. Use it. Expose him. Mama, expose this man. Ha. Hey. Bishop will die. He will die. For any scandal, he's just going to die. Are you still considering him? What do you have to lose? He has taken everything from you. Mama, expose this man. Expose him. Ah. No. No, no. I have nothing to lose. I've lost everything anyway. Of course. I'll do it. Yes. Come on. I will do it. Now you are talking. I will expose Bishop. I will expose Linda. I will expose every one of them. Good. Don't die in silence. Don't be like most Christian women. Dying in silence and pretending that their life is good. Whereas they are dying. Expose him. Say no more. Say no more. It's done. Nobody knows 
The trouble. Babe, has it come to this? As in, nobody knows my sorrows. Babe. No, don't do this. touch me. Who's your babe? Huh? No, who is your babe? Are you doing this? This is not you. Oh, this, this is, is me. You. This is me. This is me. Me. Oh, stop! Don't touch. Okay, babe, can we just talk? Talk? What do you want to talk about? What? That uh, is now all over for me? That you finished me? Is that what you want me to talk about? Me. Don't touch me! Don't! 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 What? Can you just listen, listen to me? Listen to what? Yeah. You slept with father and son. He <laughs> gave father a son. I'll say it again, because it sounds good, right? That you slept with father and son and gave father a son. <laughs> You've done well, you know. I will never, never. Just shut up, you never, never do what? You never do what? Never. You will never do what? What, what were you saying? I will never do that to you. You never do that. <laughs> just, Guess what? Just, 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 shut up. Let me explain. Explain what? What do you want to explain now? Uh, just... Huh? What do you want to explain? No, no, don't tell me. What do you want to explain? What? Huh? Well, let me tell you something you don't know. I will explain to you. Okay, now let me explain to you. I have always known that I am sterile. Nothing. They're shooting blanks. That's what's up. I've always known. So don't feel like you had some kind of super information and did what you did. I've always known David is not my son. I've always known. You know, I kind of felt I would be comfortable if it's... If, uh, it, if it went to be Lawrence's son. My goodness! Your goodness is you slept with my father. My father. <laughs> you slept with my father. And give him a son. Baby. Look, we, we, we can actually. We can, let's talk about this. Let's talk <laughs> about, <laughs> about, <laughs> this. <laughs> about this. Let's talk about this. Listen. And learn. Let's talk. Let's talk about this. Uh, shut up. Talk about what? What do you want to talk about? What? What, what do you oh, oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> you gave my father a son. Oh. Slept with his son. <laughs> now do you know one other thing, huh? Listen. Do you know my mother? Mommy Joe <laughs> is currently trended. She's trending on social media pages mm. everywhere. Mm. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. They're currently using my mother on TikTok now. All because of you. The woman is not even talking about the kingdom of God, but she's talking about my father's infidelity. 
She's talking about how my father shagged her son's no, wife. No. Yes. No. I'll say it again. No. She's talking about how my father shagged and shagged and no. shagged no. her son's wife. Stop. And she gave him her husband a son. Stop. Ah. Stop. Stop. Baby. Don't. <laughs> You see this, huh? This is my baby. This is my B A B Y baby. Stop. You understand me? Baby, stop. And stop. if you ever, uh, ever touch this baby again, uh, I will bring this on you. Uh, this baby will break you. Don't try me and my baby. You've done well. You've done well. You've done so well. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't uh, touch me. Slap with father. Slap with son. And give father a son. You're, you're doing well, you know. <laughs> you're doing so well. And you know one more thing, huh? Let me tell you this. <laughs> one of these um, Nollywood people, yeah. He's a director in Nollywood. He said he was going to make sure that he will make a movie out of my mother's story. Out of my family's story. So you see, my mother is a star right now. She's a star. Let me call one star. You and I know. All because of you. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Slept with father, slept with son, and you gave father a son. <laughs> Hello, superstar mama. You know, you're trending now. You're doing well. You're, you're everywhere. You're trending, you know? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Nice. Why am I talking like this? Come on. Of course, I found love again. I found love in alcohol. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, you know what, Mom? We need to step up your game right now, okay? So I will, I will advise you, okay? This is me advising you right now on what to do to keep the stardom going. This is your current trend going. Yes. You're going to tell the next blog that approaches you, okay? Even if they don't approach you, approach them. God. Tell them, you, mommy, Geo, mother, of Joel is saying this personally that Joel, your son, is sterile. Yes, he shoots blanks. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing comes out. Yes. So you tell them that. And he has always known. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. So you keep trending. Oh, yes. You're doing well. Okay? Yes. Superstar mama. <laughs> You're doing well. Yes. My mother is a star. And you are a fan. <laughs> You're doing well, so well. 
Shagged father, shagged son, gave father a son. You're doing so well. Bishop, we are all human flesh and blood, but this your scandal is too much. So, I don't understand, sir. What? What scandal? But, but you don't have worked so hard for this, and my records are clean. You haven't checked social media or switched on your TV lately, have you? I see. No, no, no. Um, I, I've, been, I've been busy with uh, private family matters. You see, it is no longer private, sir. Mm. My advice is that you confess and stop embarrassing your church and family. By the way, both the National Pentecostal Organization and the church will be cutting you off. Yes, but, but Presido, Presido, please, please, Father, what is this? What is this? Oh, Father, what is this? What is this? Ah, what is this? What is this? What is this? Answer me when I call, oh God, my justice. When I was in distress, you gave me solace. Have compassion on me and hear my pleas. How long, how long, you mortals, will you harden your hearts? How long will you delight in this city? How long? <sighs> Madam. Are you sure you really want to do this? Because after now, we're going on air, and that's it. Please stop asking too many questions. Let's get it done already. I still have to visit some TV stations. OK, no problem then. Yeah, yes, yes, Lawrence, what is it? Finally, I've been trying to reach you. Yes, yes, my phone has been off by dealing with some matters. What is it? Sir, it is a mess. The bloggers on different social media platforms have cried the story. Mama is currently granting live interviews. So I'm even calling for your arrest. The board has cancelled your Golden Jubilee celebration and are preparing to vote you out. So I think you should, you should switch on the TV right now. Go to Channel 5 News. They are currently on? What? Oh God. Oh God. This is incest. Fornication and adultery all in one. How are you supposed to go public with this? I decided to go public because the Bible says that we should chastise those that sin against God. And Bishop is not above the scriptures. Moreover, I would like everyone to know the kind of person he really is. I heard your family turned on you when you confronted them. Yes, they all did. With the exception of my son, Joel. He's so confused and very hurt. Madam, this is the first time in 50 years of ministry that your family name is being dragged to a scandal. <laughs> Do you have any evidence Meg. or proof to validate all these allegations? Unfortunately, what have you done? I do have uh. a DNA result that proves that uh. Bishop Davidson Eaton oh, is this the father has killed me. of David Eaton. <clears throat>
Wow. Wow. This is a serious and dangerous allegation. Yes, yes. But we'll be right back after this short break to reveal the content of this DNA result. Stay tuned. Babe. Babe. Joel. Joel! Joel. 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 That is my name, Joel. Joel. Yes, Joel. It's my name. Because that silly thing that starts with letter B, I currently not identify with. So what can Joel do for you? Babe, can we just... Joel! 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 J-O-E-L! Joel! That's my name. What can I do for you? Joel! Joel. Can we go to the hospital? Aren't you going to accompany me to the hospital? We need to go and see your father. My father? Yes. Oh, whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your baby daddy, huh? <laughs> well, my answer is no. Joel will rather Go outside, frolic, Leo's, tango with same people who have my sanity at heart. Yeah. Why are you doing this? Let's work things out. I mean, David, look at David. He's been over at our friend's house for a while now. He needs to come home. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Who, who, who's David? Who's David? David, our son. David, your son. Your son. Yeah, yeah. David, David. David, your son. Oh. <laughs> I'd rather call him my baby brother. <sighs> <Huh? laughs> mm. What about him? What about him? What? Can you listen to me? Can you just allow me explain? Explain what? Explain what? What do you want to explain? What, what? what do you want to explain? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. You will. You will. Let me Joel. speak. Speak about what? About Don't shut up. About I said Shut up. Shut up. Get out of here! Leave! Get out! What? 
do you want to explain? What? What do you want to explain? Just get out! Silly baby. Get out! Hello, good morning. Good morning, Miss Linda. I'm so sorry I'm late. You attended to him already. Yes, I have. It's my job to do that. It's just that you insisted that you would do it for him. How is he doing? Any improvement? None. He can't speak. He can't move, although he can hear. That's all. It's fine. I'll keep praying for him. And I'll read the Bible to him. We'll be fine. That's so nice of you, Ma. You're such a good woman. It's just that all his family people have abandoned him. Yes, they say he's paying for his sins. Don't say that. Sorry, Ma. You know he can't hear you. So sorry. Surely, he took our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, we are healed. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are healed. It's well with you. My bishop, my father, my boss, my mentor, my friend, I have tried to explain but no one will listen. Not even my husband, Joel, will listen to me. I know you hear me. And so I'll speak my truth. Truly, David is not Joel's biological son. I stumbled on some medical documents that belong to Joel at home. And I realized my husband was sterile. because of the love that I have for him. I didn't want, I didn't want to embarrass him. So I went to a sperm bank abroad and through IVF and an anonymous sperm donor 
I had our son David. Why did I do this? I, I did it because I love this family. This is the only family that I know. I didn't want to lose my place in this family. <sighs> my bishop, I'm sorry for whatever pain my actions may have caused. I know that you are a very good man. I know that God in heaven will see you through. He will not abandon you. The devil will not win. You are more than a conqueror. My bishop, I love you and I will stand by you no matter what anyone says about you. You will always be my bishop, Davidson, Eton. You are healed in Jesus' name. You are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. It is well with you, sir. Hello everyone. No, so what's going on? Seriously, what's going on? What's happening? I thought the texts you sent were just for myself and my mother. You sent to her too? Can we get this over with? What's the emergency? I have somewhere to go, please. Why did you call us here? Please be calm, please. Thank you all for responding to my message. Thanks. Bishop here already is getting better. And, oh and he has regained the use of his left hand. And with my help, he was able to write down a message for you guys. What letter did he write? Bishop, uh, David C, what did you write? Did you rewrite your will? Did you rewrite your will to accommodate my co-wife? Ma, please calm down. Please. He requests that I read it in the presence of everyone, and then that's why I called everybody here. Please. I have observed with disappointment and shame the way my family, with the exception of Linda, of course, have thrown me to the wolves over unconfirmed allegations. Years ago, before I gave my life to Christ in the UK, I volunteered to donate my sperm at the Faith Clinic, London. Years later, I visited the same clinic with Linda on a missionary duty. However, unknown to me, 
Poor Linda went back there and requested to be artificially inseminated by an unknown donor. And somehow, my sperm cells were the ones used. What? Linda, you did that? Oh my God. Linda, why, why didn't you say anything? Why did you talk? I... I tried to explain. Several times I... I tried to talk to you, but you kept shutting me out. I'm actually still trying to process everything I just heard. And, and let me guess. She decided to secretly use a sperm donor to save your husband the shame. Well, well what, what's going on here? Eh? Do you think I'm a baby or what? What is this story about? How are we going to prove it? Because it's something just too, 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 too convenient. We're not kids here. We're not kids at all. I still have the receipts and the correspondence with the hospital. I have that in my email. I, I'm sure we can verify this. Oh my God. Anonymously donated spam, half batch numbers, not names. It's a rare coincidence, but it's a possible one. Faith, Faith, you and, and, and mom have bashed father's reputation of all proven allegations and my wife too. I'm sorry. Please, please forgive me. <laughs> Mama, please, I'm sorry. <laughs> Get away from me. You cost everything. You were the one that cancelled me to go against my husband, to expose my husband on social media. You called the TV stations, the radio stations. You even went ahead to call the bloggers. Ah, Meg, what have you done? I'm so sorry. What have you so sorry. done? What have you done? What have you done? I'm so sorry. What have you done? Meg. 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 Every day. Every single day. What have you done? Men of God. God. Famous people. People in the know are bashed on social media. They are dragged every day without them knowing them personally. They never know these people. They don't care about their mental, physical, or emotional health. Nobody cares. The bigger you are, the bigger the target you make. And it's worse when a loved one Make you. agrees to these allegations. What have you done, Meg? No. You've done well, Mom. No, Meg, what have you done?
me leave you. I can't be here anymore, I have. I've caused enough problem as it is. Your mother was right. I am cursed. I can't even look you in the face. Before your father. The best thing I can do is to, to carry my son and and leave. I was wrong. I shouldn't have made that decision on my own. I was supposed to submit to my husband, but I did it. Even the Bible says in Ephesians 5 verse 22, Wives, submit to your husband as unto God. But what did I do? I went ahead and took that decision on my own. I didn't consult you as my husband. I, I didn't speak to you. I didn't ask. What's wrong? I can't ask your forgiveness. It will be too much to ask for. I only ask God to forgive me because what I have done is, is too much. I am so ashamed of myself. I am so ashamed. I am so embarrassed. I can't even lift up my head. <laughs> what is the difference? Tell me, what is the difference between me and a woman who cheats on her husband and brings the pregnancy home? to know one thing. I need you to know that everything I did, I did it for us. I did it because I wanted our marriage to be strong. I did it for both of us. I need you to know that from the bottom of my heart, I wish you well. My one true love.
What are you doing here? I just came to give my sincere condolence. Your sincere condolence, you say? After everything you've done? You've destroyed my family. I'm so sorry. Give my father a stroke. Killed my mother. I didn't mean for that to happen. You didn't mean for that to happen. Why don't you tell her? No, tell her that. Now listen. You're not needed here. Take your condolence to another family you are about to destroy. This family doesn't want to see you, doesn't know you. My father doesn't even want to hear your name. Leave. Please just... Leave. <laughs> David, my son. Yes, mom. Now that you're almost done with your BSc, mm. I would like you to go to the UK for your masters. In the UK? Yes. No, I prefer America. Oh, please. I knew you would say that. I want you to go to the UK because it is a better society and it is easier for me to, to come and visit you. Besides, oh. my best friend Grace is in the UK. She can help me keep an eye on you and you will stay in the family house there. No, mom. <laughs> Don't even contest it. Don't contest it. Yes. Uh, I know you miss the house in New York. Uh, yes, exactly. yes. And uh, you miss your friends in New York. Uh, but uh, you will not stay in that house I bought with your mother. No. You will go for your masters in the UK. We don't want any distractions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> sir. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. Come on, Dad. Can, can, can you just leave my mom for one second? <laughs> can you stay out of the business of I am my wife for one second? Too? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Dad, you guys literally. I wonder, do you own anything to yourself? You guys run everything together. I mean, your companies, mm -hmm. your real estate, mm -hmm. your cars, even your bank accounts. That is the point, my son. That is the Eton family. Of course. Mm. That is the same way your grandfather and grandmother shared everything together. Everything. It's the same way your father and I share everything. everything. Our love, our accounts, our hearts, everything. Yes. Wow. And in due time. Very soon, you will meet your wife. What? I want you to choose a wife that is God-fearing, that you will share everything with. Of course. Mom, yes. well, well, we're just talking about my education just now. <laughs> we're just talking about marriage. You, know? uh, you yeah. marry a good woman. Of no, course. you must marry a good woman. Yes, of you course. will. You must marry a good woman. <laughs>